Hello, my name's Paul Regan. I teach at the Insight School of Art in North London. And I'm going to show you some drawing exercises that you might like to try. I'm going to show you how to do a drawing of a person step by step. Firstly, I'm going to decide where I want the figure to fit onto the piece of paper. I can then divide that space up into head heights. So if I measure here, there's the height of the head. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and about a half. So I can divide this into seven and a half. So I can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So we'll aim for here. I can then put the head in, which is an egg, like so. I can put a line going straight down because the figure is standing facing me straight. One head down, one and then two, comes to the end of the sleeves. So I know the end of the sleeves need to be about here. So the neck down like that and the sleeves in there. Neck, shoulders, sleeves. This one was a bit further down in there. The waist is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I'm aiming for the waist of the t-shirt to be here. So I can now fit the t-shirt in like so. And there's the t-shirt fitting in there. The end of the shorts, if that was four, so it's five, six and a bit. So the end of the shorts are just here, one there, one there, and they're in line almost with the outside of the body. So the shorts fit in here and here. And then the V-shape in the centre is here and here. Hands come down about one head height further down than the end of the t-shirt. So the hands come down here. People often draw the arms and the hands too short. It is there, there, like so. And the hand comes round and it goes behind the figure there. And then this arm comes down to here, round the hand. I'm just going to suggest the hand with a bit of a loop for where the thumb is. And then goes behind the body again. And then the legs still coming down on the same angle. The toes are in line with the outside of the hand like so. The feet are coming towards me, so I'm just going to draw what I really see. I don't want to draw a long foot, it's a foot that's coming towards me, so all I can see is a shape that looks something like that. And on this side, the foot comes down, and it comes out, and I can see a shape that looks like, looks like that. And so, I took the height of the head, I measured how many times the head goes into the whole height of the figure. I then divided my picture into seven and a half. Some people might be six, six and a half, seven. Some people might be eight. So you have to check each person individually. I then started plotting out what is one head down? What's two heads down? What's three heads down? And then I started working out what was in line vertically and what's in line horizontally. So this is how you can draw a person step by step. 